time to poopo correctly. It's time to learn to have two bowel movements a day. It is time that it don't smell. I talked about kidneys before and gastritis, colitis, celiac, endometriosis, another disease that black woman is struggling with, stuttering. Yes, you're speaking. I know you've tell somebody tell you they can't correct it, but it could fix stuttering. Numbness. You yeah, have numbness on your fingers, numbness on your toes. You just can't feel nothing. You yeah, are dingling like a choir playing. Like it's Christmas time, silent night, holy night, and just dingling. And you got sinus. You, every minute. You, eh? What about lupus? All the people who are suffering from lupus call me at 516-286-7079 for the sugar blocker. We need a sugar blocker. Power packs, multiple sclerosis, sickle cells, dementia, Alzheimer's. If you have Parkinson's, I could I I could help you. Macular dystrophy, scal scalioderma, cardiovascular disease, all forms of cancer. I am telling you right now. Call me at 516-286-7079. It may help with improve your the immune function listen let me tell you 85 percent of women do not have an orgasm how may i help you how do you so ooh, how do you reach to that point again how could you say when stella get a groove back if you're 65, you need to get your groove back. You're 60 years. I can help you. I'm a senior citizen. And I can give you back your groove so you can go, ooh, one more time again. Support male fertility, fertility improve the sperm production and motility. It may help reduce the risk of blood clots and stroke. Some people say it's too rude, but you're suffering with it. You're in church. All the first ladies, you can't see it from them 20 years now, 35 years, 34 and a half years, you never see, you never go ooh anymore. You can't go no more ooh. We can help you. It may help support a normal blood pressure. I hope that's not the sister calling. It may help improve the vascular function for patients with angina. Recovery after heart attack. It may help prevent and treat cardiovascular disease. It is the sugar blocker. That's what I'm saying. I am dead on serious. It reduces the growth of cancerous tumors. I am telling you right now, this sugar blocker power pack is off the chain. Let me see if I can finish off this one. We get the lady with fibroids already. So let's go to this other one. I was right at 11, and I went to the doctor on this past Wednesday. My A1 is a 6.0 and still going down. So I just want to let everybody know that these products are amazing, and they do work. I was on the Daily 3, and I added in the sugar blocker. And I'll tell you, I'm just so thankful that I was introduced to these products. And thank you for allowing me to share. I want to ask you the same question I asked the young lady, um, Spence. To hear your response when somebody said this is too expensive, these things we're selling is too expensive. Knowing your experience today, from your point of view now, how will you? What will you say to that person who says to you they're too expensive? How will you answer that? I would answer them, "What price can you put on your health?" Um, there's no, there's no um, expense too great to get your health back, and I, I know the, 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 the. Um, effects that I was having from the diabetes I didn't feel good and now I feel good so you really can't put a price on your good health so I'm, I'm just thankful that I was introduced to it couldn't really uh, afford it but I had to learn how to let things go to get what I needed so it's called making a sacrifice for the things that are going to help you uh, in these products how will you ask wow. the second question that it's a fake knowing what you know now and your experience how will you what will you say to a person who say that these things are fake they're just trying to sell and make money what will you say to that person i would say that, that is, that's not the 
the truth. Uh, and because I, I started, I know where I was when I started. And I know where I am now from 11 to 6. The doctors are amazed. What, what in the world? She said, uh, can you believe it that you're down to a 6.0? I said, yes, I can because I know what I'm doing to get there. So you can't put a price on it. And you, do you still use the sugar blocker? Yes. Thank you very much. You have been very kind and may God continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you. Yes, uh, a, a few years ago, Minister Dale, she passed out. And uh, when they got to her, sugar was so high that she, when she came uh, back around, she had lost her eyesight completely. And uh, I think uh, Miss uh, uh, Jeffrey introduced her to the products of, of back last year at some point. I don't know her exact date. And she started drinking the, the she had the, got the, the Daily 3 and she started using it. And uh, her eyesight started to come back. And they told her that she would never be able to see colors. So, but now she can see colors and she can, you can see where she's going without much guidance and her eyesight is just getting better all the time. I wish she was on to give that uh, testimony herself, but it's amazing. I'll tell you these products do work. Did she, did she use the sugar blocker? She did at one point, yes, but she mainly was on the daily three and it started coming back and she did add the sugar blocker, yes. Okay, and how old, how old was she at the time, you know? Say that again, I'm sorry. How old was she at the time when it happened? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. No <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. You ordered a sugar blocker? Yes. And your pressure was high? Uh, no, my pressure used to be high before I ordered it. And how is your pressure today? It's doing a lot better. My pressure used to be all kind of 160 something, 170 something, 150 something. Now it's doing like in the 20s, 122, 120, 120 something. Very rare. Oh, a couple of times I see it go up to 130 something. You know what happens, Sister Brooks? A lot of people, when you're talking to them, they tell you that the sugar blocker is too expensive and so forth. Now you have yeah, that experience what you to say to people. But the, I, I tell them, I say, look, is it your health not more important? Which is more important? I say, my health is very important to me, so there's no price that is too much for me to pay for my health. I tell them that straight up. So will you have to hesitate if somebody, yeah, somebody wants help to recommend the sugar blocker to them? Sometimes they, they, some, they most, most of the time they're thinking that the price is too high, but I say no, prices cannot be too high where your health is concerned. That's my main thing. So you will always recommend it to anybody? Yes, I will. Whether they want to take it or not, I will, and I'll let them know what to do for me because I have told, before I ordered it from you, I knew I was going to order it. I told my doctor, so, maybe, so when I come so back, you're going to be I, taking me off of some of medication. Of, I can... So put the check on my name and give it to Joanne. It's just that you're you, you one, one of the people, and the other reason why, yeah. sometimes I feel like retiring because you talk so much, and you have to convince people so much, it's like you're almost going to retire. Put it on my name, I don't know if you know what out of the house. I'm very proud of you. Don't retire, please. Please don't. I can wait until next time to get the money. Put it on my name, if you want to. Okay, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Again, statements made about products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Honestly, you, this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, or mitigate, care, or prevent it's any disease. That, it's, it's not a waste of time for me to talk about it. I'm a, I'm a wealthy person. This information about herbs, fruits, antioxidants, alkaline water, and other products is for general health information only. This presentation is not to be used as a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment of any health condition or problem. You should not rely on information provided in this statement for your own health problems. Any questions regarding your own health should be addressed to your own physician or other health care provider. Pastor Dr. John makes neither warranty nor express or implied representations whatsoever 
regarding the accuracy, completeness, timeliness, comparative or controversial nature, or usefulness of any information contained or referenced by these statements. Pastor Dr. John does not assume any risk whatsoever for the person listening to this information contained herein. Health-related information changes frequently, and therefore information contained in these statements may be outdated, incomplete. This information about herbs, fruits, antioxidants, alkaline water, and other products is for general health information only. This presentation is not to be used as a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment of any health condition or problem. You should not rely on information provided in this statement for your own health problems. Any questions regarding your own health should be addressed to your own physician or other health care provider. Pastor Dr. John makes neither warranty nor express or implied representations whatsoever regarding the accuracy, completeness, timeliness, comparative or controversial nature, or usefulness of any information contained or referenced by these statements. Pastor Dr. John does not assume any risk whatsoever for the person listening to this information contained herein. Health-related information changes frequently, and therefore information contained in these statements may be outdated, incomplete, or incorrect. Statements made about products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, mitigate, cure, or prevent any disease. Use of these statements does not create an expressed or implied physician-patient relationship. You are hereby advised to consult with a physician or other professional health care provider prior to making any decisions or undertaking any actions or not undertaking any actions related to any health care problem or issue you might have at any time now or in the future. You agree that neither Pastor Dr. John or any other party is or will be liable or otherwise responsible for any decision made or any action taken or any action not taken due to your use of any information presented. This product has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Experience the power of five. Experience five of the world's top antioxidants in one powerful nutritional product. Introducing to you Lviv from Ardis, the power of a drink in a bottle. Experience the power of mangosteen, noni, acai, berry, goji, and pomegranate. Experience the power of five. Experience Leviv. With the regular use of Leviv, you would experience a decrease in the level of harmful free radicals, which cause aging. It helps maintain a normal cholesterol level, helps maintain a healthy blood pressure, helps fight virus and bacteria. It also keeps your skin and hair healthy, improves your vision, enhance your sex drive, improves digestion, increase your level of energy, controls your blood sugar level, improves your memory, protects your children's health, and allows you to have a better night's sleep. Experience the power of five. Experience Lviv. As the last echoes of Carnival Fee, the spirit of Trinidad and Tobago continues to resonate through the alias of WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC LTV. While the rest of the world goes on, we stay rooted in the rich soil of our culture, celebrating the Trinbagonian spirit that dances in our hearts all year round.
Wack Radio 90.1 FM is your constant companion, bringing you the essence of Trinidad and Tobago. the season of renewal and reflection WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC.TV invite you to a musical journey that transcends the ordinary bring it splashy and splashy like water God tell me bring fire this Lent and Easter let's embark on a soulful exploration of hope rejuvenation and the sheer joy of gospel, jazz and uplifting music Whether you're at home or on the move, make us your cultural soundtrack to your life. Carnival season. WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC TV are diving deep into the heart of our culture. With the most powerful message calypsos of this season. And all you're hearing from those in authority, boasting how they're going to boost the economy, yet so many of us live in poverty. Join us as we celebrate the stories, the laughter, the critiques, and the soul of our nation to the voices of our Calypso. For all who want to see me retire. Wack Radio 90.1 FM and Wack the TV, your home for unforgettable jazz moments. This Lenten and Easter season, look out for more details on our programming. This is where we check in. This is where we check in. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. And yes, I'm here. I'm here. I haven't been here for a while, but I'm here now. How are you doing out there? All who miss me. Say, tell me, I miss me, man. Oh, gosh. Where's my team song? Nice. Let's get this thing going. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. So right, after all the little holidays and the little, the work, you know, they had to pick back up on work, I'm back. And we had a very interesting conversation yesterday. Very, very interesting con conversation in the dotish hour with Mr. Desmond and myself. Um, the discussion was coming off of... <laughs> few things coming off of a gospel artist kind of jumping ship jumping ship and going to sing Trinidad well Trini Slack it's not Trini Bad Trini Slack 
and then moving across to what would you do when things bad when water mother and flower thing rough what would you do and the discussion was quite healthy um <laughs> very very interesting and coming out of that i decided to contact mr zeno constance the well, I'll say the president of the Calypso Collectors Association. And I told him, um, give me a, a section of songs by Calypsonians and Sogatis that addresses the the, the 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 bad boy issue. The bad boy, the crime, the young man, you know. Let me see what the Calypsonians have been saying. And I have Zeno on the line shortly. I'll pull him across. Uh, hey, he ain't hear me yet. So let me work. Let me work on him, and we can see what can happen from there. So we say it's twelve minutes past eight o'clock, and yes, we are here in Trinity Culture Talk, and we're gonna play some tune. Tune with a purpose. Tune on a theme. Let's start here. No, no. 
I'm excuse for crime. So hear me now. If you're starving to death with nothing to eat, that is no excuse. When them vendors get chased off the street, that is no excuse. Unemployment land, you can't get a job, that is no excuse. Why, if you're struggling inside, you know. Yes, still no excuse for crime. Uh, take a look at me, so proud and free. Grew up in abject poverty because of drive and ambition. Today, that same more proud billions. And over 74 years ago, a little black boy born in Tobago. No shoes on his feet, walk from miles to school, real cool. Never knew the lap of luxury. Get chance and hard grind was the story. But today, as our PM, he rule, he rule. He never said like back in the 90s, like that you two shoot for Hercules. This nation knows me a living. Today, I go make a killing. Never once stood to teething. My brains and hard work he climb. Poverty could never absolve crime. No way, poverty is no excuse. So go for And no damn excuse for crime No way, poverty is no excuse So don't use that as your views If that is your present condition Let it stay your will and ambition There's no need to wallow In a pit of despair and slime Poverty and no damn excuse for crime No, no, poverty is no excuse So don't And this is where we say good, good afternoon, good evening to Mr. Zeno Constance. I hope you're hearing me. I'm hearing you. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you well. I can't get your face on the thing at all, boy. The um. But I see, my, I see, I see in my face. How are you not seeing my face? I, I seen it, but I can't get the people to see it. But don't worry, I'll be hearing you. Oh, uh, right. Sorry, oh, that's, so, so you mean something on your end? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, am. I, I want people to see you. All right. Not that they have to see well, you, can, you know what I mean? But I want people to see you. I, I can do nothing more that. <laughs> I, am, I am technology retarded, so I just back off from all these situations where I have to flick button and be, turn the wrong thing out. Can I? Be careful what you say because you used to be my teacher and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I have um, I'm issues with that, you know what I mean? It, it, it just shows, just shows that, you know, <laughs> you, you learn more than I could have teach. I could have teach you nothing about this technique. You know, you know the great John Singh? principal of your school yes um, in 1973 he took me across um where you live in where well, you live in the compound of the school right right and he showed me he showed me a computer and he said to me that will be the future <laughs> and i said to myself he man what that stupid little kind of typing thing <laughs> that typewriter <laughs> true, so true. he was ahead of the time and i was still behind because i always watch these things with a with yeah. an eagle eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but that's the I'm here. <laughs> and you're in the technology, you how to use it, you're using it anyhow. 
using it. Well, I'm using it, yes. Yes, yeah, no big for help anytime. Right. No, but but technology came in and upset the apple cart in a serious, serious way. And um a lot of people fighting. A lot of people fighting with it and saying, No, you're not going there and I don't know how to do that. And the more you say that, the more technology coming in. So I don't know. Yeah, well, at some point in time, sometimes to... it, 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 it's in inevitable and we have to go. Right. But sometimes when you reach my age, you see, it's easier done here, you know. <laughs> I better just go on to this like I accustomed to. Right? That, yeah. That's why I never did the type properly. Right. Because when I was being taught to type, when I wish you were to type properly, the proper way the fingers, you know, yeah. I had already been able to type at a thousand miles per hour with two fingers. With two fingers, right. I but once you, yeah, once you got your two fingers going good, don't study that. Don't study that. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. Do what you gotta do. But, so, right, Zeno, um, coming yeah. out of the discussion yesterday, um, it was between Desmond and myself, and a, a lot of people chimed in. The discussion was, um, the, on the same song, poverty is no excuse for crime. And how far will you go? How low will you go? Where? How? How? How bad? <laughs> for want of a better way, you know, like, would you? Would you? Would you? This resort to crime? Would you? You understand? Yeah, all right. Well, let me say one thing first, sir. Uh-huh. Because we sometimes don't understand that the quality of a calypso should not depend on my or your agreement on the point put forward. Mm. I mean, a good calypso, we could disagree totally mm-hmm. and say, as far as I'm concerned, poverty is a, a good excuse for crime. And therefore, that calypso, totally ag- in terms of its thesis, totally against my my concept and philosophy. Right. But it doesn't stop it from being a good a good calypso. No, no, we see, right. know it's a good so, calypso. We know it's just no, a no, and, and concept. That's not for you, Kenny. That's not for you, that's for the people out there. Oh, so I, I, say I, 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 I can't judge a calypso? Yeah, listen, we, that's the thing we do. If I get up now and I say, you know, I didn't like studying music, people out there would interpret that to mean I feel studying wasn't good. Mm. And he responds to come. How do you say that the man had a good song? I say, I didn't like him music. I mean, he wasn't good. Mm. So I can't my opinion. So I'm just going to draw that point in the discussion. So when you get all the other discussions, you see the same day immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, you understand that my critique of any Calypso does not nullify the strength of the Calypso. And in this in this argument, I mean, I could, could argue something else and say, why if you think good or you think good, but I just have a, 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 a personal thing. So my thing is that um, poverty is hell. It's one of the great calypsos that deal with the um, they deal with the fallout from being poor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's easy now to come and say, "Well, look at a man who was here in Tobago. Look at him here, and, and he come and he make it, and a girl from the ghetto in Lavantil." But um, I think one of the reasons why the crime is going on still at the rate. Is because we, well, one is because we, we we are really attacking the criminals and not the crime, and two, we don't understand the power that takes place at four o'clock in the morning on that crime day. That four o'clock in the morning, meaning the people who in the in the in the trenches, in the best village groups and the football groups and the choirs, and who working with each other in in the, in the psycho psychological aspects, mm-hmm. people in you know. It, I have made the point before that if there are if there were twenty killings in Pfizer in the last ten years, it would be eighty if I didn't have a drama group and the you know, dance group and the, because these things are strong, strong barriers for crime in the sense that they capture the people before they get there. Right, right. And what you see in is that if you see ten criminals out there, it means to say it it but have a hundred, you know. We have wiped out ninety. Right, right, right. right? But, right. but, right. so but do you think poverty is an important, an important thing? It's, it's very important. Why do people yeah. who are poor stay poor? Mm. Some people stay poor because they believe in a religious thing, you know. So that, that is the God extra coming, so I will stay poor. Mm. Some stay poor because 
the guidance of above. Um, when I say above, I mean from their parents and so on, the rule the the figures. We could, we could go there and somebody slip out, you know, and say, I go in, I go in that way, you know, the easier thing to do. I mean, it had on a young fella who's telling him, go and get a walk and work hard and make a little money. And he's looking next door, he push a man who relax on the block and make it a hundred thousand money. Yeah, 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 point, point, point. So, so it, it, I mean, it, 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 I would not say um, in a definitive way uh, poverty creates crime or doesn't create. What I'm saying, though, is that we, not, we, still, we have to start discussing the crime problem with the people who know about crime. Mm. You know, with, with, with your man name, Rene comments on them now, not just people who are policemen who shoot down people. <laughs> you know, and and from, no, I, I, just, I, I went to a school, I, I taught a school for over 40 years, and I know that thing. Mm. And how I used to wage war against other teachers because they wanted to just have discipline in the traditional way. And I used to send them in a, in a drama group, mm, mm, mm. send them to play football. So if you play in netball, you have you have to be disciplined to train, you know, to pass the ball left and then go right, to not get flexed when you when you when you when you get bombs down. It's a lot of discipline. So that no, must well, help you in some sports, way. Sports, sports anyway, teach you, right? sports teach yes. you how to lose, how to win, and how, yep. how to conduct yourself. Yes. You understand? All, all sports and, cult and cultural things. Right. So it, it teaches and you a it, lot. And, Right, yeah. nice, the idea nice. Of being there anyway. So right, and we saying we're going to touch Kaiso. Well, your monk just sent me. I don't think how, I don't know how much we're going to touch, but we'll discuss and touch Calypso well, that deal with. I asked you how much to send on your thing. Same thing. Yeah, we, we had two hours, and you're both. <laughs> so I, I, I try to send across samples, some right. that pick up the youth, some that warn the youth, some that right. you know tell them it's them fault. So let's see, better, better jail them. Right. So all kind of, all, you know, all different. Right. Yeah, I so. So we you we, you enjoy yourself. You yeah, play yeah, yeah. it, and if you want to talk about it, we, yeah, I gonna stop. We 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 played it, and we're gonna talk. Um, no, but we we talking about from what we talking about the collection of calypsos, um, the archiving that you are doing, the 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 work that you are doing as well. We'll talk all of that because this is important work. Because somebody always hearing a song, I remember in a song, I remember a song. And because songs, calypsos, have dealt with everything. You understand? Or almost everything. So, right. We did Poverty and Crime, Karina Ashe, 2024. Let me touch one of mine. Kurt Allen, First Investigation, 2024. There's a, there's a hole yeah, in the bad, country. A bad, bad there come la, there come la, <laughs> a bullet hole in the country. There come la, a bullet hole. Well, fix it, dear Rowley, dear Rowley, fix it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first investigation is the most important investigation. I want to fly. I just feel sorry, so don't get me wrong. For anybody, I yeah, yeah, get gun down. Innocent victims, criminals or not, each and every gunshot rattle the same spot. But when I hear some families expressing grief, the attitude does have me in disbelief. Criminals that thief, rape people and kill. The families demanding investigation still. But when as a youth, they stay in out late.
and army. They're only, they're only. Can't replace their rental responsibility. They're only faces. The first investigation is the most important investigation. Fifteen-year-old boy, his life gone to waste. Killed by police on a high-speed chase. Police reports say they just robbed a bar. Officers attempted to intercept the car. The fellas jump out with guns blazing in their hand. Start to wriggle bullets at the policeman. Police return fire in similar style. Parents want investigation. Why? He was just a child. Still in school, but they put in food on your plate. That is the time to investigate. When they work slow, yeah, but they sleep in late. That is the time to investigate. Hands dragging off their waist like they're losing weight. That is the time to investigate. On the block all day, holding their prostate. That is the time to investigate. You can't wait till they're in the forensic center to block the road and catch all tires on fire. Talking you. Investigation. Elders, teachers, neighbors, and guardians, you have to launch the first investigation. The family must be the main focus. The courts and the politicians can save us. To arrest the crime, keep it under control. Crime fighting must start in every in household. Only incest. incest, child trafficking, and that's good, Alan. Necromancy, it's all kind of thing. And we start, we started with Karine Ashe, and then we went to Kurt Allen, that's 2024. And uh, we'll pause this man here. Nice. So mm-hmm. we're going in, you're going into your list now, your, your send me thing. Um, Kurt Allen made a straight point. Don't investigate now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's a very original approach to that team. Eh? That team of blame the parents, jail the parents, according to Bobby, the youth man gone, according to Stalin. Mm-hmm. You know, in, in, yeah, those two calypsos. I have one, I think I have it there. Um, you know, the whole idea of of you could make them mind, you no, know, you make the child, but you can't make him mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is a very original, a, a, a very original approach to it. Anyway, mm-hmm. say what? Yep. Well, no, a lot, maybe, a lot of approaches maybe, there. Maybe, and uh, maybe he spoke to some people in some criminologists, <laughs> people in the business, they kind of just on them. Yeah. And could come up with that. <laughs> so we go in here. We well, as is in A. We start in. Aaron Duncan, a youth pledge. Yeah, I, I, I chose that one because, I mean, from a youth point of view, the commitment to, to, to getting better. Right. Um, interesting. Yeah, so like, the whole, the whole thing again, eh? It's put across a number of approaches. Um, as we'll see if we have time. With so. all the spade, this rate of crime. Yes, 
Revolution is the key to transform and change our lives, to raise those born in poverty, to a place where they could thrive. So on this journey, I'll study hard, vet climb and party, I'll disregard. Go to school. I bet to observe the golden rule. And I bet to do whatever my teachers say. And to the son of Aaron Duncan, a youth pledge. I'm not seeing the, I'm not seeing the year. Along the same line. I'm not seeing the year, but what? you know, nice. You not seeing who? I'm not seeing the year of this. I know it. Oh, shucks. Is is many years. Uh, it was a few years ago when he was a little younger, so it yeah. kept him more than about seven, six, seven years. Yeah. I think he did the youth pledge. Yeah. Maybe some long. So nice. So now, now we can go down. Now we can go down in the in the in the, in the history now, and see what men have been saying. And you mentioned this one a while ago. Stalin. Which wow. one? Youth man gone. Youth man gone. Yeah, I think in, in that is the one that Stalin looks at the his take on the the barrel syndrome. Right. You know. Um, and I think it's another color. So he said, what, what we should do is keep the bread and send the head. Run the it's bread. not the money we lack in. Is, 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 he, is he thinking? So as long as you have the parents outside looking to make money, right, right, rightfully and righteously, but you leave the fella down here and the gangs will take him. But not necessarily, it's a bong too. But what Stalin is saying, chances are that while you're making the money on the left, on the other hand, to buy the things that you need, he, he exposed because there's no father figure, mother figure, no, no, no buffer, no, no, to control the attack from the from the left. The fellas always outside there, you know. And there's a good, good kind of some of that by um, uh, not to my not to my brain tonight. The young fella there, the about five six years ago, about the gangs taking people. One one calypso, I think um, just was watching another one too. Right. He's a very young boy name. Hello, <laughs> Gopan Junior Mona. Hey, Mata, okay, you come to me just now. So, this Stalin Calypso went in that direction of you know, the key here to take, otherwise, the man gone. And when he's looking left, he going right because sometimes, you know, they say, um, I, I think that I think the quite a, a get to something. They say, you know, you, when you get money, um, you buy where you want, and then you beg for where you need. <laughs> well, um, I kind of like, I get money and I just had to spend it on all kind of thing and nothing that would make sense. And then, yeah, then go with the neighbor to buy the sugar. Yeah, to yeah, get yeah, sugar yeah. yeah. But, but you see, there's that if you have no money to buy the proper sneakers, the one that that, that, that in now, I remember when Jan Sport bag was in. I mean, I think it's in still now, huh? but wait, that was a hell of a thing. If you have a Jan Sport bag, you, you can't go to school because it's, it's pecong, it's pressure. That peer pressure is so strong that, you know, so there are a lot of factors in the whole crime thing, you know, and I think we don't sit and discuss it really. We, we just talk, 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 and we, there's no proper discussion from the, from the point of view of those experts in the field and those who went. Anyway, why are you talking so much? We, are, we come to play music or you have to hear why <laughs> no, you say it? I like what you're saying. I like what you're saying. The only, the, um, this is, um, another youth man gone. Same name. If you love this nation, you 
Son of Giselle. Giselle Washington. Well, it, but it, your concept are wrong a long time. Go check our next one. This is Kitchener. Children in this country, boss and parents crazy. Children in this country, go send parents crazy. They say you make the children, but don't make their mind. And to believe this story, I think I'm inclined. There's only one solution I see, is to give them all their freedom and liberty. Yeah. If they want to fight, mom, let them think they right, mommy. And if they want to kill, mom, that is better still. But when the table turn and they locked on tail, don't mind how they ball in, mommy, leave them in the jail. This is how they operate daily. Ma, I'm making a giddy. If John come, I just round the corner. Morning, neighbor. Oh, Morning, neighbor. Talking by Olga. But when the van pass me the evening news, your son photograph have you so confused. Man held in custody for the murder of a vendor in love and tea. Oh, Lord. If they want to fight, mom, let them think they right. Darling, and if they want to kill us, uh, that is better still. But when the table turn and they lock them tail, don't mind how they call you, mommy, leave them in the jail. <laughs> Ah, 
dad and my mother, who of course would be always softer. When the father would take it easy, the poor mother would be so unhappy. She doesn't want her child to come out a fool, so she starves her belly to send him to school. And the result, an unhappy one, he subsequently turned out a vagabond of God. If they want to fight, mom, let them think they're right, mom. And if they want to kill, yeah, that is better still. But when the table turns and they lock on till, don't mind how they fall in, mommy, leave them in the jail. Right. You know, kitchen had to be anything. Right. I yeah, think yeah. I think I find you. I think I find you to put your to put your face in the thing, man. It's just a matter of thinking, you know, just to think about it and you know, it will happen. You know what I'm saying? As you wish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You you, you taught me you taught me critical of thinking. From the days when yeah. Um we were boy concept, you know. Um somebody just gone astray. Yeah. And in the days when learning was by uh, Sangre Litra, I get it wrong, you get licks. So, as Kitchener says, they pay, they pay the band, leave them in jail, hmm. go get them no bail, and but, so on. So, yeah, that's a different approach here. Yeah. There, there, there was no psychology back in that time. A partner of mine, a partner of mine made a comment um, the other night. He was talking and he said, We leave a space. We, as in Trinidad and Tobago, has left a space by suppressing our culture. We have left a space for another culture to infiltrate, and they are just following suit of the other culture. And I found that was yeah, yeah. Hmm. That, that that is deeper than the people think, eh? Yeah. And, um, <laughs> one of the things. Is that the psychology behind that we never examine because of the every creed and race fan and equal place this God bless our nation concept, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but simple things that we will reject because we have been trained to reject. Like I was hearing years ago, um, when I say years ago, I saw 20 years ago, a fellow was talking about the colors and how it affects people and what colors you should paint a classroom in. And, it, and, and you're making the point that African people relate to certain colors in a different way. And therefore, we should try to, you know, put that inside the classroom. But if you say that, in a, in a sense, people will actually have to say, no, everybody equal. But before you get to everybody equal, you have to get to examining the people who make the points that are looking different from yours and say, what about this approach? Because one of the things happen is that... Um, you know, when we when we move from licks to no licks, we just blame Kamala and say Kamala stopped the licks in school. But there was not nothing, nothing to replace the licks to go on to the no licks. There was nothing inside, nothing that that, that as you say just now, there's nothing culturally strong enough to say this is how we, we move in culturally. We could give it a this this licks thing, you know. But like when people talk about how long time. Your father doesn't sort of watch you and you behave. Mm -hmm. That is true, but that that came with a price, you know. When he watch you out in the market, when you misbehave, is because when you was home, you feel the brunt of that misbehavior. Mm -hmm. So not only did it a look. You no, know, it the licks cause so that. The same licks. You have a you have a you have a order. Look, at my my mother vexed me. And she, I call she, and she, she say, I'm not speaking to you. I say, I feel in your eyes from here, because I know she vex. You understand? So she didn't have to say nothing. I know she vex. You understand? Yeah. But yeah, so that was the that vexation had something behind it. Yeah. Which means you feel the weight at times. So you know, I ain't going back there, you know. Yep. But yep, I don't yep. think we ever examine carefully 
what is the replacement? Be they say America say none without thinking that 50 years now, no American white chagelix, but they're bad like he has, will kill you anyway in the world meet you. So I don't understand. The America have a concept of don't put your hand on nobody. They mean, yeah, they don't mean when come to, to when they invade Iraq and when they hit the country and kill people. Fishing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we, we missed the point there, and the first thought. God, I can't hit nobody if I hit nobody. Maybe, but we didn't put nothing in this place. We just say, We leave our hey, space. Day. We leave our space. And therefore, we, we, and people run wild because I want to fella realize. I know, can do what I want, and no, all no you're going to tell me is you're, you're going to talk. You understand? Yeah. But if I know his licks, I have to think twice. So, and yeah. and uh, is, uh, is uh, other, we, uh, th uh, other we, um, psychology there too, you know, the point about the, the self esteem. For us, get when they achieve something that you might find negative. I want to say this one point if you want. Mm. One of the fellas who was in the Red House during the coup, mm -hmm. he made that point to me. When Abu Dhabi tell him, Am Amnesty, put out the guns, he said, Nah, for, for years, I was a fella, they used to do anything, do me anything they want. Mm. They, 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 they blocked me, up. I have power now, that gun stayed with me. <laughs> That is a strange thing to see. You feel to say, but understand the power. And I've seen mm -hmm. you youths in school who they were abandoned and who teachers say that they have no word. I have seen them with the cricket bat in their hand. Yes. And define you to come and tell them they you out out men. I've seen them on the basketball court on the drama stage. So that power they get. So the whole discussion is not as simplistic as people like to make it. Mm -hmm. I have no answers. I have questions. And that is the important thing. And I have Calypso. Uh-huh. Well, that's the idea. We have Calypso. We have Calypso. And yeah. I like this. I like this because we could pull one. Check this one. Check this one. The Mighty Poser. All She said, oh, listen, my son, don't worry about your position. Though you might see plenty people coming after and pass you, Posa. But please don't stop, Posa, don't give up. For when the time comes, you want to read. to work hard for what you want. So just sit down there and feel things going to come your way. Oh, 
Mighty Lord Poser. <laughs> and that is granny, uh, Granny's advice. And it's not written here, but I could go out on a limb and say music by Leston Paul. Guitar, lead guitar by Jeff Medina. Wow. I know, I know the musician. And this is now King Harry. Young people take care. Yeah, well, one of these days, eh? Yeah. We were, um, it is happening in our lifetime. Yeah, right. These days, it's a big competition. And, um, and just like these great calypsos. Yeah. And then we hit the night sofa, we come to the floor because we're going to have a competition with Brick and a competition to the state. This is what, this is the better one. Right. I, get, I have two calypsos that can't come out the tent. And when you hear them in a certain context, in a show, in a concert, in a lime, yeah. Way, way, way. That was like good, good ever. Yeah. 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 And I think that better calypsos would become become, you know, more functional without the one stream that goes to the savannah. Um, because there are other ways to like calypso. But how all right, okay, wait, 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 wait. You open my door. Who tell you open that door? Um there are other ways. You you in charge you you in charge me, you know, Mr. Mr. Phillips. I know. Back is I, your know. Station. I know. What <laughs> other ways? What other ways? You're saying things. What other ways? Give me one other way. What one other way to do what? To, to, to appreciate the calypso? In the, in what context? Yeah. Let me hear you. Yeah, but we have listen, we have context of calypso already. You have calypso that have you um jumping up in Banlava Stadium when the cricket plane. And you have Carisos are higher in the same stadium when the Fed plane stink and dirty. And when you have Calypsos mm -hmm. about Brian Lara mm -hmm. and Grace. So you have Calypsos in different contexts. I, I didn't appreciate that until I used to go to Enjack Black Traditions. And I hear in these Calypsos by fluke. Can you know them for and, and, and the audience gone off? Mm -hmm. Then for us couldn't get out the tent. But the, in, it is in that context, in that in that forum, in that atmosphere, we're hearing things 
that really good. And it's, it's talking to our audience who come to and want to listen to them. Who come to hear that. Yeah, the same was, was the tent. Mm. Right? And the same for the radio. There's a, there's a radio calypso. You listen to the radio, it grew on you a little bit, and you put it in your car, and you're playing it going on the road. Mm -hmm, so that's mm -hmm. a whole set of different context. And when you listen to those calypsos, outside of the competition, you don't think about if this fluke is better than, than this duke. Is that, is that, is that, a, is that a, I go win, I go beat you, and he beating you? And no, I, yeah. it is a calypso that, that you could appreciate in the context of the, of the thing. Is a response to something, you know. We're talking about crime, or we're talking about, um, you know, yeah. sexual activity, or we're talking about going to school. So many different topics, mm -hmm. and it kind of so holds. Now, this is not something I could have put on the people now. Eh? That uh, that concept of big year calypso has been there from since in the forties. I think as we get out of this thirty-nine thing with Tiger and them, and and we straighten up, <laughs> then we get to the end of the forties. So that Attila Calypso could have win the crown and leave Blakey, Stephen Clash on the side coming forth. And Stephen Clash end up being a bigger Calypso than anything else. Stephen Clash an iconic so, Calypso, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I, I don't know. that It won't happen, as I say, because the competition is, is we steeped in our competition. But the thing about it is that, you know, there are other avenues which makes these Calypso so powerful. And I think you play, other than the first two you play so far, Mm. The rest of them, you play after that, is Calypso that wouldn't have been no crown. But you see how potent they is. Mm -hmm. But they're making a good point and they, they're relevant to something mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you could mm -hmm. appreciate it. But that's, a, that's another story. That's a, that's a good point, yeah, though. That's, it's a that's, great point. As the great Spagala used to say, we come here for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, you come for Calypso. <laughs> You're going at a King Harry here. There we go. There we go, there we go. Yeah, I don't know this character, I don't like, I mean, I send this one shoe, I never hear it, no? I never hear it, no. This Calypso is specially dedicated to the young people of our Twin Island Republic, Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean, and the rest of the world. Tread with care on that road. That you're walking. Slow down there. The block waiting to wipe your future away. Cocaine don't kill millions, maybe even billions. As I'm not that I am concerned for you. Cold as cause we're grand to see. As every people pray. You must not have fun or pleasure, but they care. Sickness and death is looking from there. If them kill out millions of our daughters and sons, it is in pursuit of the younger ones. Careless sex with strangers help it to spread faster. So Because your life will be confined to prison and prison.
Prison is not a good place, no time, no time. Your life will be wasted, tormented and crooked. A crime life is for the insipid. Oh Lord, sunny crime don't help you. It only destroys you. So stop, stop, stop. 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 Before you get stuck with a gunshot. Sometimes life can be rough, but there's always a turn for the better. So to the sound of uh, King Harry, young people take mm-hmm. care. You understand? Is that we've been we've been sending that advice? Female Calypsonians. I want to go way back. I want to go way back. Listen, if, if you tell a man in Calypso uh-huh. that King Harry, King Harry, who sing you're too fast, you're too fast. Could I sing a song as profound as that? <laughs> you know, nah. But but when the frenzy of the six weeks finish, you just hear all kind of good good thing. Yeah. Yeah, great, true. great calypso. It's true. Right? Pointed lyrics, poetic things that come out. You know, I, I was looking for a calypso tonight to put on the list. I think by hard style. Hard style. I think I have it on, on, on DVD. A calypso he sang a few years ago in the tent about how they dying at 16 and 17. Right. We can't make it to 18 and 19. <laughs> That's like um. Yeah, but like like Brigo. Yeah, but Brigo, green limes falling. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But. I mean, you can't blame nobody at this point in time, because no, no, but but we are blaming, um, but we had to find the road. we had to find an avenue for this yeah. to play. If we, but if we search, you see, there's no search. If you look at say, what is happening in America with the top forty, for instance, what makes a tune become big because it had no competition to go to to get there. Um, so if you we had to examine that and maybe look at other places in the world and what makes a a song survive. That makes it popular. What makes it good, even if, if it's not popular, because mm. you have to understand that the competition takes you down a road that a good calypso, a good written calypso, a good recorded calypso, mm. don't necessarily have to go down that road. There's a it has to do with performance also, mm-hmm. and a number of other factors. Right? It's just that I am saying we put all the eggs in that one basket and say if it ain't there, it ain't good. Um, but there's lot of there's more good that do go to the match girl than does go. That is true. One because of the sheer numbers. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? I mean, 200 is, is higher than 16, but also because of the 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 concept rubric, whatever you call it, for the match, where the blueprint mm-hmm. right? mm. can't accommodate more than the so called big yard calypso. And I, 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 and I always argue that progress by King Austin or portrait by Sniper is no better than get something on the wave by Super. Mm. Um, because those are great calypso in the own light. Some just make it make you um, think, some just make you wise, some just make you sad, some just make you jump. Mm-hmm. You, do, you do all kind of thing. And if you only take the ones with the philosophy and say, do the good ones, we do the self injustice. Because there are great calypso out there, as we hear now, that don't fit into that mold. Mm-hmm. But how do we escape the mold? That is for our next time. Yeah, we had, yeah. A, we had to find some yeah. ideas of how probably. Yeah. Probably in Kaiser History Month, we do, we do message, or we do, you know, something honoring the yeah, messages. Yeah, honoring the yeah, messages. We need, to, we, need to, we need to keep asking the questions. And yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. If we don't ask the questions, we can't get no answers. True. Yeah. Point taken. Somebody <laughs> asking who is my guest name. This person on air with me right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to say was my teacher in St. Thomas Aquinas. It's probably he will mess up my head and have me in this Kaiso dumb thing. <laughs> I think it's him, you know. This is Mr. Zeno Constance, <laughs> my former school yeah, teacher. For one year, I only I only had it for one year, and that, that, that's a good thing. Because if it was more, I don't know where we'd have been. Have I? I don't know. Right. And yeah, you, tell Zeno, Zeno yeah, Constance. Tell 
archivist, yeah. Calypso historian, Calypso former collector in movie in Calypso yeah. history course. Yeah. And and I, 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 and I humbly I could say I want to know about Calypso. I can I sing a note? Can I yeah. write a note? That makes two of us. I, I, could, analyze, I could analyze them all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it was three that fellas. Like, Zero like, constant. Like Zero constant. Yeah. Castella Camara and Naya Uma Obika. Three of them. Three of them. The Enjak Pussy. The Enjak Pussy. <laughs> Teach me in school. It's all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> So, so what are the people? Yes. Uh, so Zeno is the head of the Calypso Collectors Association. And um, I pull him in tonight because I wanted, after the discussion yesterday with um, poverty and where it where would do, and I wanted to see what the Calypsonians have written on this said topic, youth man, crime, where you're going, you know, is the social commentary on crime and the young people and he sent some strange strange ones and that's what we're playing tonight okay that's what we're doing tonight i have one by lady trinidad i don't know where you find this one but let me check it out the early female calypsonians to the son of Lady Trinidad. Advice to young women. <laughs> that, that's an important calypso in this context here. Yeah. Because it, it raises nearly a century ago mm -hmm. this syndrome about why why the good girls, quote unquote, just go for the, the bad, bad boys. boys. Yeah. Um, I, I can't go into that now because me, you know, enough about it, but I know it exists <laughs> as a fact that, you know, you know a lot of a, 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 a girls, young women, just go for the fellas with, with the guns, mm -hmm. the fellas who are living on the edge. They're excited. They, they, they're they're yeah. giving this warning to watch, watch the fellas and them who, you know, coming to trick you. That's a whole, net, a whole next... Um, no, you have plenty, you have plenty whole, different whole, whole angles you could yeah, discuss. <laughs> You know, yeah, anyway, yeah, it's, German, it's yeah. 16 minutes past nine o'clock, and the I forget to say the phone lines are open 652 and 786 yes, 792 and you could call and ask to Mr. Zeno about the collection and, and songs. And you know, when, when I see in trouble to find song, 
That is the man I call. You understand? It have, it have you. He, he could find the song. It have, it have a few. It have a good few. Eh? I'm not going to call all the names tonight, but um, the, 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 the repository that you now hold is so important to this country that and people don't even know. People don't even realize, but that's another discussion for another day. Let me um let me let me make it Japan. Let me get something nice here. Let me get something nice here. You're gonna like it. Bring me things. Enigmatic, the indomitable Winston McGarland Bailey. Mm. He could only yes, do I, it. I, I he could only do it like him. So frightening. You can't use him to, to, to as a, as an example for nothing. You can't say a good lyrics or shadow lyrics or good music or shadow music. He gone beyond so far. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Shadow is yes, like shadow. Can. Remind me of Rash Shorty, Lord Shorty. He went so far left, he make a circle and come back around the next side. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I leave him alone. I yeah. and I wish, I honestly wish that. And this is a broad statement here. I wish that the artists, songwriters, producers of today, would pick up some of the the the, the, the mantles of, that they started back then. They they didn't have a. They didn't have a mold. They break the mold plenty time. They just do whatever they felt to do where the music take you, you go. 
Now, if you yeah, try that, them? if you try that, then men say, no, you got to stay within this thing here. And if you really you check some the of these, the formula. Stay with the formula, the blueprint. The blueprint. <laughs> I don't know that the, the blueprint <laughs> works. You know what I mean? And the ones that I stick out, the ones that yeah, stick it, out, is it, not following no blueprint. Kenny, it works. You know? It works for who benefits, and they won't change it because it benefits them. Hmm. It, it, I mean, the woman could be woman could be burning all around them. They could still be playing the fiddle and the, and, and, and and the instrument because it benefits them. Yeah, might not benefit the art form as a whole, but anyway. <laughs> Kaiso, we come for Kaiso. So yeah, right, we're going down step. People are calling. Right, the phone lines are open six five two four nine zero one and seven eight six two nine two two seven eight nine. You didn't expect in. Yeah. All right, I'll give you this one. Get, get, get callous about young people going astray and, how, and, and so on and so on. Yes. And how to, to guide them. Yeah. You didn't tell me what people are going to ask me hard question. No, 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 they're going to ask me hard question, see. man. I was only nine. I was a problem child. Mama was good. She taught me to pray. Never do be unkind. This is Brian. When I was 17, I made up my mind. I wanted to be a wayward boy. I ran away from school. I didn't obey the rules. My teacher was fast to beat me in class. My teacher was such a fool. So I crossed up the teacher and I ran away. I wanted to be a wayward boy. I, 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 Mama will prize me away. Papa not tell and go away. Mama will prize me away. Do not be a wayward boy. Mama will prize me away. Papa not tell and go away. Mama will prize me away. Do not be a wayward boy. One day I went to town, a fella gave me a gun. He taught me to steal, he taught me to drink, he taught me to be a bum. He taught me to gamble, pick pocket and fight. He taught me to be a wayward boy. I went to a grocery, intended for robbery. Didn't mean to shoot, didn't mean to kill, it never occurred to me. What the foolish Chinaman tried to pull a gun. I was fast at the draw, so I shot him down. Ay, 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 mama will prize me away. Papa let me and go away. So this is Brian, huh? a wayward boy. And I have something here. Let me try something here. And there's a Joey Lewis version of the same song. Fact that the fact that Joey Lewis did over this song that means that Wayward Boy had to have been a popular, popular song. Well, you know, um, <laughs> I know the concept of this song, yeah, and the whole idea behind it is um, there's a story that used to be told by my grandmother. I mean, it's going back to the 50s mm. about a fella who was sentenced to hang. And the night before he hung, he said he went to see mother for the last time. And when she came to the, to the cell, she made a whisper something in her ears. Mm -hmm. When she leaned over, he bites her ears off. Mm -hmm. He tells she, if you did, if you did, uh, make me go right when I was going wrong as a little fella, I wouldn't be here now. <laughs> I actually saw him like my mother saying that, and it, 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 in a kind of, kind of daze. I heard that, I heard that story. Of, yeah. Yeah. That kind of, yeah, it was a universal story then. I think this is the whole idea behind Binance, we want boy. Mm -hmm. Going astray, 
if it is stop me from going astray, I'm going to survive. Hmm. That's a whole another kind of psychology to deal with the whole issue of crime and why people go that way. Yeah. How much of them you could have, you could, you could have saved by offering them a, a thing to eat. Yep. You see, you think to eat thing, when they say well, there's poverty, but I know from the eating factor mm. how many young people in, in school I didn't let them go down a road because I gave them something to eat, you know, physically eat, you know. You right, see? right. In the morning, they come you to school. Them. And they, you know, I think they eat, and you're surprised. I know a particular fella who used to come to school. Stick, stick up in, stick up in. We, we have a caller. Stick up in, stick up in. You ready to go? Yeah, listen to me, right, right. Sorry. Caller, good evening. It's 9.27. Good evening to Kenny Phyllis and to, well, I want to night Zeno. Sir Zeno Constant. Sir Zeno. Black here, eh, eh. Sir Zeno Constant. Sir Black here, Zeno, boy. Zeno, you hearing this, man? No, I can't hear him. So you might have to repeat the question because I'm hearing you very clear. Okay. I, hear him. I don't know how come you're hearing him. You're hearing me so clear. But okay. Right. I will start again. Uh-huh. Good evening to Kenny. Good evening. And uh, I would like to knight Zeno. So Zeno Constance. This is Tall Black here. Tall Black say his name should be So Zeno Constance. No, I knight him tonight. I knight him. I know, I know him. Go ahead, go ahead Tall Black. <laughs> say, go ahead. Right, good. Mm-hmm. Well, well, a listening, but I say it ain't calling, it would be a sin. <laughs> All right, so hear me. Mm-hmm. Zeno is a sort of Clemmy George. Mm-hmm. All right, but he, even though Clemmy George died, right? Mm-hmm. Right, Zeno ain't back to me, no? Right, you are like, good. So here what happened. <laughs> um, I listen to Calypso, I 68 years, yeah, and I listen to Calypso since I was seven years. Number one, Kenny raised a good Japanese day. I have been saying this for a very long time. You mentioned about the um, about the shorty songs and the shadow songs from you know the structure, and what I see happening now, Zeno and Kenny, mm. is you're getting Kaiso now. It's a marathon, <laughs> not a type here, but it's a marathon, mm-hmm. and 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 as one you, Zeno and mentioned I think is for certain people interest and they're killing the thing mm-hmm. because. Because look, there are songs from here now. Songs from the seventies because I know plenty of guys so Kitchen, um Street Simon, all them nice, nice songs. It's a five K song. But now they're having song I repeat it's a marathon twenty six and a quarter man, they're killing the thing. <laughs> but Zeno Zin uh, Zeno but like what I hear boy. <laughs> you're songing good. And you're looking good too. No, but, no, but, no, you're going overboard now. You're seriously looking good, you're going overboard. No, no, no. You was going Zeno, good. <laughs> Zeno had a place on my... <laughs> Zeno had a place on my bench, you know, he and Spang Alang had a space on my bench. Yes. You know, yes. Yeah, yeah, but Zeno, I like what I hear. And I hope you could come again, Zeno. Yeah, man. Well, come again. Great, great show. Yes, man. Thank you so great much. Great show, brothers. Yeah, one love. All right. Uh, Zeno, I don't know if you heard him at all. I try to put some people in. I hear enough. I hear enough to say he brave to call me Clemmy George. Clemmy was a big, big thing, you know. <laughs> how many Clemmy class? Clemmy was a scholar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I used to listen to Clemmy when I get a chance, but nobody like. I, I used to see all you know when I was going yeah. from school. Good, good evening, yeah. caller. It's nine to three. Have a next caller. Good afternoon, Mr. Philip and Mr. Zino. Hi, is this is this fancy? No. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it's like any well, good program. It's a, a nice, uh, the messages in the music. Mm-hmm. What's going through my mind is that, do you think that people, when they listen to the message in the music, they live within that, you know, a guidance, you know, live with it, or they just listen, they just listen to it just for maybe, they hear it and they never really, you know, Guy, 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 by the so it's good message, good, good, good um, advice. Because, like, the, the Brian I played it just now. I remember my grand green, all of this thing that in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you word boy. <laughs> yeah, you know, you get up, you know, you're you guided by that, and so we're not so. Yeah. It's a good program and a nice, informative one. Thank you so much, man. Enjoy it. Good uh, job, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, Zeno, hmm. yeah. the man said, wayward boy, boy. I know my mother yeah, knows yeah, that song. Yeah, very touching calypso, very sad calypso in a sense. Yeah, boy. You know? um, 
But that story about the, 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 um, the, the, the prisoner that bite off the mother ears, I yeah. heard that already. I know my mother yeah. told me that. You know what I mean? I think it's pressure the society as a point being made, you know? But finest thing is in Akalipsu, but people just talk about it. And, and to warn people in their family, listen, do go down that road, you know? And then, then regret it. But, hmm. you know. And, and the he thing about it is, it, it is, we're going again. Hold on, we have a phone call. Good evening, come on. Oh, I lose it, boy. Wow. I didn't know the phone would have light up so much when I say open the phone lines, you know. Um, <laughs> I told me that guy had one or two on call that job. Yeah. And it have various, various, various um, time factors because this, well, we went back there. Right, we started from 2024 with Kurt and Kareen and them, and we're going through some years. But it had some different ones that you sent for me. That is when you send that, then I realized, but wait, that is what that song really was about. Check this, <laughs> check, check this one out, eh? Because you send this one, it surprised me in a big way. Hey, man, it's what up? Yeah, it's stuck up, nigga, it's what up? You know it's all about God, what is asylum? Take dead bodies and stack them and pile them. Even the while I'm taking them to the corner and file them. Y'all in? No. You want to turn them? Yeah, really want to turn them? Yeah, man. Look at the gun, then. Yeah, man. Fire to burn them. Yeah, man. Let me teach them. Yeah, man. Lyrics for each them. Hold on. Hey, Mr. Yeah. Man, it's low. Some bad mind people see me ripping show. Between me and them, I'm pulling in a lot more do. I dance around them like heel and toe. Then get the girlfriend and heel and blow. One shot going to climb to the top of your heart like you be 40 climbing on the billboard chart. Oh. I'm a bad man with no time to talk. Mr. Man, it's boy, you're yes. not You know, we can hey, see it. When the bad boy come, it's only big things. Everybody have some fun. Shake your tail. Me girl, Mr. Man, it's rich. When the fed done, we going up my rockers, me. Why? Them don't like how many stuff been on school. One plan and the fool turn black and blue. You see me blade? I bring in it for you and your crew. And me afraid to pop off me on me blue. We name Godfathers, count a rock way. Your girl take way number, she just can't talk with. Friend me and me mini girls who claim to be chiggers. Just can't stop with. Cause man a real, real bad man. Yeah. We don't really care where you come from. You're black like tar or you're bleach like run man. Gunshot park, I take a living man, turn dead man. Come on, and they say good evening, Kuala. It's 9.34. Good night, Good evening. Gentlemen. Hey, hey. hey, hey. I have to call. Selwyn. Selwyn. Right. All right, sir. <laughs> no, because what you doing tonight, <laughs> I now realize why you are like you are. <laughs> because you call your teachers. <laughs> and when you call them, you can't help it. <laughs> I don't realize why you can't help it. <laughs> but you have a good one in the studio with you. Yeah, yeah, he home, he home, he home, he home. He home. Am, <laughs> and I am glad that you are where you are at and able to do what you are doing because it helps to ensure that the art form of Calypso will continue to be what it is. <laughs> because... We have not been dealing with Calypso the way we're supposed to be dealing with it because we don't recognize that besides being a record of the history of things in this land and in the world, it is also a teacher and should be used in schools to save our nation from going down the road and going down now. Mm -hmm. You know... Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. I don't know, but were you doing what you had to do? And hopefully, it will save us from the pit at the end of the road. <laughs> Some, somebody will hear it. Somebody will hear it. Yeah, they hear it. <laughs> and they will, when they hear it enough, they will start to listen. <laughs> because you don't hear, but you don't listen. Mm. But if they hear it enough, they're going to start to listen. And we need for people to start to listen. That is a point. That is Beautiful. such a point. So, ah. brother, Mr. Zeno Constant, <laughs> blessings, yeah, yeah. my friend, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. All right, brother. Thank you, you so much. You're doing that. Keep it strong. Love yeah, it. Yeah, man. Cool. Thank you. All right. That's Selwyn Jim. 
brother brother J. So right, yeah, yeah. We cut, we, we um, we his boy. It's nine thirty six. Yeah, I was about to say that um, that viewpoint that Bungie and I think it's Bungie and Menis, what Bungie mm-hmm. is taking there, mm-hmm. it's a, a more modern version of Sparrow singing, um, a rebel, you yes. know, um, and and the Sparrow's rebel, he points out the fact that he didn't want, he didn't want to go that way, you know, but he did more kind of wickedness. Mm-hmm. He had to pick up the gun, you know, that half gun will travel kind of thing that, you know, that that um, two gun kid. Mm-hmm. It turned to bad because they beat the bully me and beat me so much time. I have no choice but to fight back. That's another aspect of the thing we, we do consider. You know, when some good fellas in school mm-hmm. get bullied, not necessarily bullied physically by other fellas, but bullied by the system. Because yep. we call them children bad who couldn't get the max to come out of junior second. Yeah. And we have, we abandoned them. And I know that because I was there in that senior sex system. Mm-hmm. And I remember how you just added two to the people on them. That is why. So weird, weird. I Hold on. So, Hold on. So why, areas, you know, why you say. You know why yes, you say anyway. in the junior sec? Why you can't say in the Napoli money presentation? No, no, no. What I'm saying is that that what we did as a society is look down at the junior sec and say they were worthless. Okay. And out of that would have come fellas who started to rebel. All um, right. Because I am saying, if you if you were trying to be fair, mm-hmm. if it were possible, like I always say, if you take football as an example, Malik would have been a prestige school because True. they produce so much national players. Yes, yes, point. point and I used to say the same thing with Pfizer about in drama, that we were the prestige school. Right. But, um, but they never but look at they never mean, look at it so they never look at it so, you know. No, we look down at them, and I, yeah. I tell you, know, even in, even in, even in this my senior sec, which of course is an extension of the junior sec, I advise about what we did was, um, you know, kind of put down the people on them who couldn't get X amount of marks, gotcha. even though they were the, they were the star footballers and the star exactly. cricketers and the star right. netballers and so on, right. and say they had no real value. So you and say, do understand that, but you can't condemn them for value. Culture and the arts didn't have the value. That's what you say, right? Yeah, because when you when you when you devalue when you, 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 you devalue them, they sometimes just turn to the other side. You know? Got you. And I am saying some of them you you, you, you salvage because you tell them, hey, come on stage now, mm-hmm. and they realize they have worth more. They have real self worth. Yeah. I like to give them many examples of that in my thing. So I'm saying that yeah, 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 that is how yeah. that's how we lose them, um, because you create a system and say. Only would nothing, mm. and, and the system still exists, still exists to some extent, eh? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's still that, there's still that thing where you know you you go to this school and they say you make you better. Like when you look at the national football team, you can't find nobody from them schools. True. When you look at the national volleyball team, you know, how much of them? You know, so we just make up that mistake in that sense, into the crime thing. We, we cry down the people you, and them you, who couldn't. You, anyway, we have a phone. We have a call. It's nine anyway, forty. We have a call. Caller, call, call, call. you still there? Yes, sir. I was waiting for Zeno to make a point, but it was a long point. Go ahead, Cora. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Well, well, I just want to say hi to my old school teacher. Oh, Zeno, my old Spanish teacher. Spanish? Oh. Zeno speaks Spanish? What is going on with you, boy? Hi, Zeno, kind of thing, boy. Zeno, boy. <laughs> I was now. We were the first children in Paisabad. And Zeno was the man. Always in his African gap. Oh my God! <laughs> if you don't even know, he, he will surely remember me. But we go be some time. Some point. All right. <laughs> what's, what's your name, sir? No, I ain't gonna tell him anybody read it. But Zino was my teacher. Zino. Oh my God! <laughs> Boss Zino. Man, Zino was my teacher too. We, Come on. We do we do drama in Faizo. <laughs> yes, Zino was the drama teacher in Faizo too. Nice, nice. Yeah, man. Oh <laughs> my goodness. All I would right. like to see him though. But he on, he on YouTube. Watch him on YouTube right now. Uh, all right, cool. All right, cool, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the man proud to say you teach him? I don't know why he would be proud to say you teach him. Why? 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 <laughs> why? <laughs> that is one thing I do. I, I get into that, now. <laughs> a whole long story. A whole set of transformation of concepts and ideas that yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, I, I initiate and you, couldn't did, turn back anyway. You taught me. Did you teach me history or was it Obika? 
but no, I, I can't. Yeah, what he said in literature. Literature. Shanti Claire. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Shanti Claire. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ah, something here. Sparrow. Slap me down, kick me and all them stuff, give me some big, big cup. I really grew up a rough and tough, now I'm a rebel. I seek in me revenge in any kind of way, I'm a devil. I don't laugh, I don't smile, I don't play. Any time we meet man to man, it's blood and sand. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't laugh, I don't laugh, I don't cry, I don't, we don't play. play. We don't play, we don't play. Revenge from the bullies. Uh, it's a very sad plaintive calypso in a sense. Yeah. You know that the name of the song, of somebody's asking me the, the name sparrow. of the song, what's the name of the Sparrow song? I'm a rebel. And we say good evening to Jean Elaine, and we say good evening to the people, <laughs> the people's chat room, which was Lima, Lima Donbar. Good evening, and good evening, Miss Patricia Kwamena and Miss Lynette Alexis in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a different, that's a different Sparrow Day boy. I, I never heard that yeah. before, you know. I never heard that one before. Well, you know when you come by me, I go finding it. Well, you never hear. I just go down the trench. You go down in the cobweb. In the context of the cry for, you know, to tell the men put on the gun. That is like. Could hear the hurt in that calypso, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely. All the, all the things that do him, and now he wants to lash out. Yep. And that's a thing that exists in the school. A lot of times, you know, I, I somebody told me a little story there. They were a fella getting real trouble in class. And the teacher called him and hugged him up. And from the next day, he was a model student leaving the class. All he wanted was a hug. And the hug translates from, I have somebody. Who I could talk to, who right, I could right, call my right. father, my mother. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I had that experience of a lot of students in school who were just looking for a, a father figure, a mother figure, somebody to, to, to hold them and tell them, hey, you're all right, you know? You know? Because the whole thing that he's telling them, you You hold them and tell them, I got you. I, I did for you. I did for you. Don't get no horrors. I did yeah. for you. Yeah. And, and, and nothing worse, you know. All you need was a smile, a hug. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, give my bunks when they get something out and you realize yeah. I, I have had that experience of, of just letting children 
answer the question and say your answers are right. This is part one. Part two is when you have to defend your answer, but we had part one. Just say what you feel the answer is. The discussion about it is, and you kind of the ideas I get from people who, other people say they were stupid because they couldn't fill the blueprint of what the answer supposed to be like, but they, they could think. And I think we abandoned a, a whole section of the society because they couldn't think as fast or couldn't learn as fast or regurgitate as fast as the people with the scholarships. Mm. And then when they lash out, you say they're bad. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. some went inside and some just come outside. And those who come out and lash, how uh, would they? It's Ella's missing generation now, you know. Yeah, the ones who didn't want to, 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 to love. How would they know? Mm-hmm. Bitter, bitter. But I, keep anyway. ho- I keep saying I will hold to the point that they're there because we clear space and make that space yep. for them to be how they are. We remove, yeah, we we remove we too space, much yes. things. Remove too much things that could have carried them somewhere else. Could have carried them on a better path. Give them something else to do. Remove too much. Yeah. And leave an emptiness where they will pick up now all the slackness from America. As, hey, as, as, I hold on to that. This is not my to talk this tonight, but I'll tell you something. I have a whole set of stories about that space and how you try to, you try to, 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 to bridge the gap of people who have nothing to do and how they feel uh, with the whole school system and coming to school and they see no value in themselves. Mm-hmm. And we win them over in a, in a football game. Mm-hmm. We win them over on the stage and they, and they become strong and say, you know, I could do it. So when I was, was retiring, I told the people in the assembly that the teacher's role is to get the student to say the magic four words. I can do it. Mm-hmm. And after that, it's, it's success. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything else, it matter. No matter if you pass the exam or fail the exam, when you get them forwards, you know, you will go on at the next point in time and cross the river. Mm-hmm. What are we to say? And that is and that is what I was missing a lot, a lot of the system. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah, Kaiso. We talk, we talk. 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 And this is the Beckett. When last you hear this one? Right.
nicer than nice you all. Education. Reading. Education. Writing. This is the sound of uh, Beckett. Music arranged by Frankie, Sir Frankie McIntosh. Wow, you know, this was done a long time ago and you realize how fresh it's sung. <laughs> sung it like yeah, last yeah. week. Sung it like last week, boy. So nice. Yeah, and this yeah. was this was yeah, only people, this was after he got punk. Right, he got punk for marijuana. <laughs> right? He did this song uh, this song was marijuana and he went back in and write a a, a, a friendly uh-huh. song. <laughs> Uh-huh. Coming high with education. Because he had all the children singing marijuana. Eh? <laughs> wow. But it, and, and both were, were both were very, very popular. Both were very, 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 very yeah. popular. Both, yeah. Yeah, both of them, marijuana and education. Yeah, nice song, man. I saw a nice dilemma here just now. Let me see, let me see. So we doing we are doing tonight the youth how the Calypsonians actually address the youth bad boy situation social social situation crime etc cetera, etc cetera. and the Calypsonians have have been addressing it for years and we just running through some songs as to how they did it and seeing how the various angles we went from Kitchener Sparrow Bryna, Stalin, hmm, everybody addressed it, and this is how. And this is Franz Lampkin, the Lamo. It's live. Need to get a better quality one. Because reckless damage they're doing to 
be children's psyche. Royal Jail and Carrera come like extension of the school. Please, wow. please, break on the wall. Break it down. Move the race of why I say. And let the children play. There must be a better way. We get so paranoid about crime. We teach the children from early to do our time. Let the children play. There must be a better way. Move. And that's the sound of the Lamo. Let the children play. Say, move the razor wire. Interesting concept. Yeah. Interesting yeah, we, concept. There are times somewhere, I, I don't know exactly when, but I think it was under Hazel Manning. That they had this project to put these high fence and barbed wire and uh, all the comprehensive and junior sex school. Well, the folk, um, very interesting thing. You know, and I think the concept of locking people out um, as opposed to, to letting people in was a big failure in the part of that civil system. Right. You have classes in school that students can't go into. You must stay out of class. Um, I mean, I know they were trying to solve a problem. I think somewhere in Arima, I don't know which Arima school, mm-hmm. when recess bell ring, there's nobody in the classroom. Every student must come out on the corridor, come out on the courtyard, because they stay in the classroom, you're making the shift. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying, yeah, that is a way to fight it. But, oh Lord, you better put games in the classroom so that you'll be busy playing a game. Right. Yes. Travel. Something. So, so they, 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 that's what I think this song comes from. The, the attempt to lock down the school rather than give them a chance to play. Let me, let me, and let, it go. let me continue. Let me get, should be a place of learning, a sanctuary, a place of peace, where children could run, laugh, play, and be happy. Not a place where they lock up like criminals and beasts. A negative message we're sending out to we children. we telling them plain, waste our time, you're bound to fail. Because their schools has more walls, gates, and fences, more razor wire than the royal jail. Please break down the walls, break it down, move the razor wire, I say, and let the children play. There must be a better way. What the hell incarceration have to do with sound education? Let the children play. There must be a better way. Move the razor wire, I say, and please let the children play. Hey, ha, ah, ah. ha, Ding, da, 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 da. Has a future dream. It is criminal when the very learning institution is designed to injure and destroy self esteem. The ministry has to explain this strategy if Razor Wire is to be the accepted rule. Because reckless damage they're doing to the children's psyche. Royal Jail and Carrera come like extension of the school. Please, please, break down the wall. Break it down. Move the race of why I say. And let the children play. There must be a better way. We get so paranoid about crime. We teach the children from early to do our time. Let the children play. There must be a better way. Move the race of why I say. Please, 
as a wire. But tell me, is that really money well spent? Penalizing 92% of good children to punish 8% who wayward and delinquent. I know serious issues of discipline burning, but if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. The Bible says we have to introduce these children to the joys of learning. School days must be truly happy days. Please, please, break down the walls. Break it down. Move the razor wire, I say. And let the children play. There must be a better way. These children, our national pride. Raise our eyes for Nazi and apartheid. Let the children play. There must be a better way. Move the razor wire, I say. And please, let the children play. Hey, 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 hey. Right, let the children play, Dilamo. So, it is now three minutes past ten o'clock, Mr. Zeno, Obi Constance. And I close, you know, I want to close up with this song for you. Because this wasn't on your list. This is Brigo. Which one? Green Line. Yeah, that's a mad, mad concept. Yep. It's a frightening concept. Too. You know? Not like you my heart style. Then Kieran can make it to 18 yes. and 19. Yep, yep, yep. I it's think um, when parents, are the parents are not bury the children. Yep, that is so true. That's the idea. Yeah. So it's three minutes past 10 o'clock, so we had a good time. We did. You know? All right. Um, we had a very good time, and it it shows that we could do we could do the concept thing the, the um, calypso the concept like today we did we did with young the youth and crime and whatnot and then the next week might do um, delinquent mothers or whatever we could find concepts and listen to songs that pertinent you know and actually hear the beauty in the songs then. A, a yeah. thousand topics and a thousand calypso. Yeah, right, right. So thank you, Mr. Zeno Obi Constance and the Calypso right. Collectors Association. Yes, we you start. You know, to, yeah, well, let's start. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll get get to get there. By and by we give we'll, we'll get to collect these hundred thousand calypsos <laughs> for the for posterity, for the public, for the people. Mm-hmm. And so on, but and yeah. um, I, I, want, I want to make a little plug here for George Maharaj who had that idea of the mm-hmm. museum mm-hmm. long time ago. So it, he will also be there when this thing becomes successful. So yeah, thanks, man. Kenny, for having me on. Yeah, it, man. It's done way past her, way past her bedtime. I know you don't care about me, but um, <laughs> um, <laughs> don't say it like that. Don't once, say it like that. Don't say it like that. Once in a while, I, I could survive. Going to bed less after eight o'clock, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's not every night. So, all right. Thank yeah. you, Mr. Zeno, because I will restart my green limes falling as we all go. Right. Thank you so much. Okay. It was nice. It was nice having you. It was nice playing the songs on them. Um, somebody saying, bring you back. Oh, God, bring him back, boy. Oh, Lord. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we will work that out. Yeah, yeah no, they don't, they don't like the light punishment. Why would that matter? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks to all of you who started and right. stayed thank with us. Thanks to the people out there. Yeah, man. Thanks to the callers. And look out, look out for the morning. Foxy, and then Damien, and then David Matthews, and then Desmond and Tony. So, we're going out. Green Lines. Brother Valentino. Wait, what's that one? Because that's a number three. Green Limes Fallen. This is Brigo. Yesterday my father was talking to my father. I hear my father was telling me my father had been feeling glad to see Jabot man on earth to live to 
Sufi man forgive a lot of young men now not forgiving that is a sin that's why the green light falling green light falling green lines falling today from the tree leaving me alone leaving me alone Y'all going on, leave young girl for me, you dig it? You dig it? Dig it? Young men going and leave young girl for me. I overheard my mother, told my father, she won't tell me. Is a sin when she say that I sit down quiet by the tree and I listening. She say licking down a man is a sin. Don't mind your children is a sin. Cheating on your wife with the next door neighbor is a sin. That's why the green line falling. Green line. Falling, the green lines falling today from the tree. Leaving me alone, leaving me alone, leaving me alone. The green lines falling. As the last echoes of Carnival Fee, the spirit of Trinidad and Tobago continues to resonate through the alias of WAC Radio, 90.1 FM and WAC TV. While the rest of the world woes on, we stay rooted in the rich soil of our culture, celebrating the Trinbagonian spirit that dances in our hearts all year round. WAC Radio 90.1 FM is your constant companion, bringing you the essence of Trinidad and Tobago. the season of renewal and reflection WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC.TV invite you to a musical journey that transcends the ordinary Abuda bring it splashy and dashy like water God tell me bring fire This Lent and Easter let's embark on a soulful exploration of hope rejuvenation and the sheer joy of gospel jazz and uplifting music at home or on the move make us your cultural soundtrack to your life
fugitive of light. Stop running, stop running. Ha ha ha, hey, hey, yeah, 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 ha. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, ha. Stop running away from reality. And seeing the things that you want to see.
trombone. Randall on trumpet. Daniel on saxophone. Roger on baritone sax. Dwayne on drums. Shane on keyboard. And the bad bass man himself. Give it up for Damien. It's been a pleasure playing for you, Trinidad. And I want to thank... I am Jericho from Lapino. It's been a pleasure playing for you, and I want to thank you again for all your support over the years. I truly appreciate it. And I want to thank everyone on behalf of I Am Jazz for supporting this first time cause. Please give it up for Mr. LaFleur. Where's Mr. LaFleur? Mr. LaFleur, we're calling you to the stage.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure playing for you. I hope we can do this again next year.
Lolita Fleur-Cleon, and my Anik Tangora. Thank you so much. The song we're gonna do for you now was arranged by our keyboardist, Aidan Hagley. Just graduated from Berkeley. <laughs> My romance doesn't have to have a moon in the sky. My romance doesn't need a blue lagoon passing by. No month of May, no twinkling stars, no My romance doesn't need a castle rising in Spain, nor a dance to a constantly surprising refrain. Wide awake, I can make my
like to see a world of unity equality throughout humanity peacefulness happiness and togetherness I would like to see the day Love will come to stay One love, one love It will be happiness to see Such a unity One love, one love And all that I can see So much hate Confusion Across this TNT No peacefulness No happiness No together See the day when love will come to stay. One love, one love, it will be happiness to see such a unity. One Really. L O V E 
is not what it's supposed to be. And only he was supposed to be the master key for peacefulness, for happiness, for togetherness I would like to see the day when love will come to stay a party one love one love it will be happiness to see such a unity One love for your instant daily. a feeling it's a real thing give it a try I can't erase. 
Take me to an island, a place that's safe and warm, a paradise of freedom in the sun. Bathe in crystal waters, sail to distant lands, washed away like castles in the sand. to the wind primal passion still an ocean tide wild child run away to a life of adventure
So happy that you've joined us here tonight. All that traffic, all that traffic, but you're here and I'm glad. Sit back and relax. Take this journey with me. Welcome to my stone. In the wine light, live in love and soft delight. Smooth and mellow, feeling how we move so right. We're letting the time go. We're taking it nice and slow in the wild light lazying through this all night flight higher and higher baby touching you with second sight we're over the rainbow Time to let it flow Baby, you're my lover No other I'd ask to stay And maybe hide away with me Dreaming in burgundy Looking out the window at the universe A starry array we can't say Everything's okay, you see As long as you're here with me we can leave the world, don't make it go. We can lose it in the undertow. If you say it's true, then we can push it away. As long as you say, baby, whatever you say, please, baby, just stay. Let this white line cover every look tonight. Feel the love grow Let our spirits reunite We never will let go Yeah Until we overflow Taryn Shaw
verses are real and we can say everything's okay, you see, you are here with me, you can leave the world, don't make it go, we can lose it and be undertow, if you say it's true, then we can push it away, as long as you stay, baby, whatever you say, please, baby, just stay. Let this one light cover every look tonight. Feel the love grow. Let our spirits reunite. We never will let go until we. Enjoying it. Theron Shaw guitar, Gabriele Melozzi saxophone. Wine light for you. Come on and 
and sing my song.
I wake up, carnival morning, I head into Port of Spain. I walking up Charlotte Street, I tripping up to a beat. Sweet carnival is here, and people in the mood. See them chipping Port of Spain in sun or in, all man feeling good. There I spot a burst of color, and it heading straight my way. A spurst of splendor so bright, his fancy sailor inside. Resplendent in their form, a thing so beautiful. And the chip, when they stick in their hand, they dance. See them jump into the beat. See them chip up Charlotte Street. Fancy sailor looking sweet, when they stick in their hand, they dance. See them jump into the beat. See them chip up Charlotte Street. Fancy sailor looking sweet with the stick in the heart. See them jump into the beat. See them jump up Charlotte Street. Fancy sailor looking sweet with the stick in the heart. See them jump into the beat. See them walk up Charlotte Street. Fancy sailor looking sweet. Sailor. Without truth, there is no life to honor. Without love, no reason to live. There's still time to change in human behavior and to learn all that we should give. This world is not our own, we're just the light stick custodians. To God, to guide and feed our children's needs. Yet we fill their hearts with hate and greed. We show no direction. We daily kill the plant, we throw away the seed. There's a missing generation out there who cares. They are dying, disappearing everywhere. Who cares? Some 
Somebody better pray. Somebody better pray. There's a missing generation. And soon if we don't find them, they're surely going to find us one day. There's a missing generation. And soon if we don't find them, there'll be no generation to care. This world of overriding ambitions In this world where money must rule Hearts of rock mixed with blood and corruption Father, only kindness can cool Those voices in the night cry out for love and direction. Are we to hear and turn and walk away? Or should we stand with hands outstretched, offer protection, and therefore still the fears that make them stray? There's a missing out there okay find them they better find them they are dying disappearing everywhere do you care do you care somebody better pray somebody better pray Search behind every sound of thunder. Dig beneath every mound of dirt. Take it, take it, take it home. There you'll find the price of our behavior. Hiding from the cause of the hurt. Look now, there goes another look. Shed tears and smiles we've never seen. Let's all reach out just one strong hand to their destroyer and give their souls the peace their souls now need. There's a missing generation out there. Who cares? better find them they are dying disappearing everywhere do you care do you care oh somebody better pray somebody better pray there's a missing generation and soon if we don't find Somebody better pray. Somebody. Somebody. Yeah. 
according to Ella. Somebody went away. Somebody. Somebody went. All are we but our friends. Somebody. Somebody went. Missing generation.
way you walk, the way you talk, the way you smile, the way you look at me, boy. For a while, I could just start a blush, but I'm playing no games now. I will do anything for your love. Just say the words now. You're my day, you're my night, you're my sun, you're my rain. Anything now, I've got to have you. I really got to have you, baby. I really need you. I'm longing for your love now. I gotta have you, babe. I really gotta have you, babe. Cause you're the one for me. You set my soul on fire. Set my soul on fire. You set my soul on fire. Soul on fire, and I'm burning for your love, burning for your love, burning for your love, baby. Aching for your love, aching for your love, aching for your love, baby. Burning for your love, burning for your love, burning for your love, baby. Aching for your love, aching for your love, aching for your love. For your love. You set my soul on fire. Set my soul on fire. You set my soul on fire. Set my soul on fire. Find a spot for us to spark conversation, verbal relation, stimulation, share our situation, temptation, education. Or maybe we could talk about how you set my soul on fire. So set my soul on fire. Set my soul on fire. Set my soul on fire.
can't fool myself, don't want nobody else to ever love me. You are my shining star, my guiding light, my love fantasy. There's not a minute, hour, day, or night that I don't love you. You're at the top of my list, cause I'm always thinking of you. Can't still remember in the days when I was scared to touch you. How I spent my days dreaming, planning how to say I love you. You must have noticed I had feelings deep enough to swim in. That's when you opened up your heart, inviting me to come in. Oh, my life. A thousand kisses from you is never too much. And I just don't want to stop. Just to get me started I called you a friend When you weren't there I was a broken hearted Hung up the phone Can't be too late This boss is so demanding Opened the door up And to my surprise There you were standing Who needs to go to work To hustle for another dollar I'd rather be with you Cause you make my heart scream and holler Love is a gamble I'm so glad that we are winning We've come so far, baby But this is only the beginning Oh, my love A thousand kisses from you Is never too much And I just don't want to stop Oh, my love A million days in your arms Is never too much Someone in your life that you feel this way about. Let me just see you rock from side to side. It could be your man, your girl, your son, your daughter. If you have someone that you love tonight, let me see you just rock from left to right. <laughs> Please put your hands together for four and big four chants of one tonight. And as you leave, as I leave, I leave singing and remembering your beautiful faces.
picture yourself on a sea in the setting sun, the salty air and the taste of your lover's hair inside you wanna fly. Run to a magical mist where the ocean skips a thousand kisses or more on a sandy shore. Your sun and your eyes as the eagles fly along each lover's eyes. You are the love of my life, you're my everything. You come to see my soul, oh, so tenderly. Makes me very high. Yeah, 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 yeah.
assume that because I put on this really funky dress that people are not eating, right? Because I look good in this dress, right? <laughs> favorite songs for you this afternoon, some of my favorites.
Brother Resistance, who was so well known for his captivating smile. Here now, when Resistance smile at you, then you see his eye, you know. Resistance eye used to get chinky because the smile used to just take over his entire face. And that's what I remember most of, about him. He just smiled from his soul. So I'm singing this one today for him. the 
will sparkle in your eyes. Gently call it to me. Sending shivers through me. From head to toe. When the world is cruel and So you see, it isn't you. It just seems no one can touch me. You try to break the ice, but it's cold for miles around me. I was not even warm enough to say. Oh, 
feel a vibe every time we set the right down and it's not nothing like this and it's not nothing like you and every single time we touch i never wanna stop because i always wanna let you know that i love you so much and it's not nobody like you and it's not nobody like to me you're special to me you're very special very special oh boy you're special to me very special
trouble, trouble, and trouble never trouble me. And I ain't had time to argue with nobody. to the sisters that went before. Sister Bev, wonderful, wonderful Lynette, and Lady Adana. I mean, because we all are artists, all having had to dig deep to survive this pandemic, the song is called Throw It Away.
viola, le viola, each and every day, and keep those hands wide open, and let the sun light through, or you will never lose a thing, if it belongs.
Thank you. 
This morning and a feeling nice, but a path that I chose comes with battles to fight. As long as I'm living, my future is shaping, and where I am heading, got no time for problems. So all the weights on your shoulders. Put your problems behind. If you fall down, just get up and get your head up the dirt. When they try to bad mind you, and they talk in behind you, don't let nothing bother you. Put your hand in the air. So the victory, your destination is not what it seems. As long as you're living, your future is shaping. And where you are heading, got no time for problems. So all the weight's on your shoulders. Put your problems behind. If you fall down, just get up. Get your head up. When they try to bad mind you And they talk in behind you Don't let nothing bother you Put your hand in the air It's time to get up and stop moving Putting all your problems behind You're resting to us 
house already, right? So we're doing it again. You're getting up in your house and you're stepping forward. Oh well, yeah, we as Caribbean people, we know about ritual, eh? We know about manifestation. We're doing it again. Step forward. Gotta keep moving on. I am not my circumstances. Better is before me. It's this time <laughs> to fulfill my destiny. I want you to come with me.
129C Pikey Street. This is 90.1 WACK. Broadcasting from the south side of Trinidad and Tobago, we are Black Radio 90.1 FM, the true nation station. When God goes before us, if God be for us, who can be against us? As I've been into so many things in life, losing my sister to meningitis, losing my mother to cancer, my father suffered a stroke a couple years ago. I remember when I was unemployed, having to pay for school, having to pay rent, no job, no family around. But we know that God is faithful. What began to develop is something called scars. Scars on the inside. For some people, you have scars on the outside. They remind you of a traumatic experience. But I want to encourage you today. If for one moment you could take a look at your scars and help them, let them remind you that it was not over. There is a testimony inside the scars that we have. Even though my heart was hurting, God was planning and doing something great on the inside of me. He didn't leave me. The Bible says, when your mother and father forsakes you, God himself will take care of you. So listen to me. I battle with no finances. No mother, my only sister, no more. And God still saw me where I am and became the comforter in my life. I started university, I thought I would have had to drop out. But because the Bible says that he is mindful of us, he saw me through and brought me right up to graduation day. I graduated with my bachelor's degree. I want to tell you this something. These scars of mine help remind me that it was not over. Still I rise where I should have died. Why? Why? All because Why? my Jesus, he was right on time. Anybody know that Jesus is right on time? We want to do this song for you. Bring it to the stage right now, Mr. Daniel Diaz. Take your mic up.
they painted pictures of me Spoke the worst about me And they laughed when I fell But they don't know that God was with me I remember when I almost let go But mercy said no I'm gonna fight for you I'll fight for you my mother so much every mother's day this is one of the worst days of my life but check how I'm stronger I said I'm stronger than before check how I'm stronger I said I'm stronger than before check how I'm stronger I'm stronger than before check how I'm stronger God remembers everything about us. He remembers every single tear that falls from our face. Tears is like a language unto God. He sees and he knows every hurt and every single pain that we have on the inside. I want to embrace you today. Even when you feel like giving up, it's got to say you're stronger. Stronger than before. You've got to say you're stronger. You gotta be stronger than before. Declare your you're stronger. Stay stronger than before. Declare your stronger. Stay stronger than before. Declare your stronger. Still I rise where I should have died. I'm alive and I am feeling fine. Oh, because my Jesus here was right on time. On time, I tell you these scars remind me.
problem solver ready to deliver to give us your victory help my heart know the answer give me grace and favor like you there's no
Broadcasting to the world. We are Culture Crazy. In spite of it all, 
I'm still standing. Never stay down when me fall. I'm still standing. In spite of it all, I'm still standing. Yeah. Yo, this water's for you. Yeah. To the road for the top times. To the storms and the sunshine. It's the gods that the most die. I'm still standing. To the road for the top times. To the storms and the sunshine. Should I be where the dead man go? For you preserve me like red mango. For me no fear when me move and me step and go. But feel like David, not the candle. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. To him I'm so precious. Him stay with me constant. So when my daughter was over. And when my daughter was gone. That's when Jehovah him to Step in with the action. To the rope for the top times, to the storms and the sunshine, it's the gods that the must die. I'm still standing, yeah. To the rope for the top times, to the storms and the sunshine, it's the gods that the must die. I'm still standing, yeah. So push it up, push it up, push it up. You're still standing, you're still standing, oh. Push it up, push it up. You're still standing, you're still standing, oh. Push it up, you're still standing, you're still standing up. Push it up, yeah, push it up, yeah, still standing. Determination of my style and pattern. My blaze the fire like I'm an dragon. Ah, now, I can't hide my passion. Me fully focused like me say, well, I can do sometimes my legs get weak. And I feel like I can't go on. That's when you speak. And give me the strength to go the distance. So when my thought it was over. And when my daddy was gone, that's when Jehovah in the wild. They bring up with the action. To the road for the top times. To the storms and the sunshine. It's the gods that the most die. I'm still standing, yeah. To the road for the top times. To the storms and the sunshine. It's the gods that the most die. I'm still standing, yeah. So push it up, push it up, push it up. Broadcasting from the south side of Trinidad and Tobago, we are Black Radio 90.1 FM, the true nation station. Morning Blessings, 5.45 a.m. Every weekday morning brought to you by KMP Music Lab Recording Studios, Precision Productions, and Bad John Republic. Starting your week off in the right way on WAC 90.1 FM and WAC.TV. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Till the day God is saying to someone, don't give up. Yes, it may be stormy right now. Yes, you don't know where to go. Yes, all hope is lost. But hear this, don't give up. We have a God that works mightily in our lives. We have a God that makes wrong things right. We have a God that makes crooked ways straight. We have a God that makes hilly way level and rough way smooth. We have a God that can turn the impossible possible. Don't give up. Keep holding on. Keep pressing forward. God is ahead of you. Good things await you. You keep on moving. Don't give up on what happened in the past. 
Don't give up on what's happening now. You keep going forward. You know greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So what in this world is keeping you down? God will keep you up. You don't give up today. You keep on pressing forward. You keep on moving. You have a strong and a mighty God to keep you. Great things is ahead of you. You keep on pressing forward ever, backward never. You keep on going. God is ahead of you today. God is holding your hands. God is guiding you into your promised land. You don't give up. God will give you whatever he said you, he will give you. He will give you. Our God don't lie. Our God will promise and he will keep his promises. God promises is sure. God promises is true. Don't give up today. Pick yourselves back up again. Yes, you cried. Yes, you failed. Don't give up. Don't give up. God will never give up on you. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on life. Don't give up on your healing. Don't give up on that job offer. Don't give up. God will make a way for you. God is holding you. Great, great is our God. Great with great power, with great might. He's true to carry you. He's trying to hold on to you. You keep on praying. You keep on praising. God will do it for you. God will do it for you. God is great in your life today. So don't give up. Many may give up on you. Many may say all things about you. But you know what your God says about you. You know what your God promised you. You hold on to God's words today. God will powerful and God's word is true. Don't give up on that situation. Don't give up on that loved one. Don't give up. God is saying to you today, don't give up. The best is yet to come. Hallelujah. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Blessings. 5.45 a.m. Every weekday morning brought to you by KMP Music Lab Recording Studios, Precision Productions, and Bad John Republic. Starting your week off in the right way on WAC 90.1 FM and WAC.TV. Broadcasting from the south side of Trinidad and Tobago, we are Black Radio 90.1 FM, the true nation station.
Broadcasting from the south side of Trinidad and Tobago, we are Black Radio 90.1 FM, the true nation station. Hey, 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 fugitive of light.
129C Coffee Street. This is 90.1 WACK. Broadcasting from the south side of Trinidad and Tobago, we are WACK Radio 90.1 FM, the true nation station. The True Nation Station.
Give God all the praise. It's blessings time. We are country crazy. Count your blessings, not your problems. Be thankful for what you have and have achieved. 90.1 FM, WAC Radio. Broadcasting to the world. We are Culture Crazy. W-A-C-A.
90.1 FM. Focused beyond Trinidad and Tobago. We are culture crazy. W A C K. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Read the Bible, it could scare the hell out of you. Read the Bible is brought to you by Phillips Industrial Concepts Enterprises Limited. The Book of Colossians. of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Timothy our brother to God's holy people in Colossae the faithful brothers and sisters in Christ grace and peace to you from God our Father we always thank God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ when we pray for you because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all his people the faith and love that spring from the hope stored up for you in heaven and about which you have already heard in the true word of the gospel that has come to you. In the same way, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. You learned it from Epaphras, our dear fellow servant who is a faithful minister of Christ on our behalf and who also told us of your love in the Spirit. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might so that you may have great endurance and patience